Salem banned camping on public property, but its promise of more shelter beds still hasn't been fulfilled. It comes as times are increasingly tough for the homeless trying to survive in freezing temperatures. Fox 12's Kendra Kent brings us the very latest from Salem. It has been about a month since the city of Salem banned homeless camping on public right of ways. However, the campers are still here on the sidewalks and they are allowed to be sitting here, as you can see behind me. However, they're just not allowed to put the tents up. Meanwhile, the city says it is still working on a solution to get more people in shelter. Wrapped in heavy coats and blankets, some of Salem's homeless wait in line, hoping for a warm bed on a frigid night. Salem First Presbyterian Church is one of the city's designated emergency shelters. Tuesday night, it's a refuge for Teresa Horky. She's been waiting for hours and told us she skipped her night shift as a janitor to secure her spot. So it's either have a bed or go to work. It's way too cold tonight. They're calling for it to be in the 20s. It's a tough time of year to be homeless, and in Salem, there's an added challenge. City councilors recently banned camping on public property. With the ban, the city promised to fund expanded access to warming shelters, but so far that hasn't happened. They keep dropping the ball. They promise a lot and deliver very little. Since that time, we've been looking for alternatives, buildings that could be used for a temporary shelter, and that's been a difficult search. City manager Steve Powers says they haven't found a suitable building to rent on a short-term basis through winter. Counselors also considered opening a city-run campground, but found that option too expensive. Now the council is expected to consider another path later this month, voting on an emergency ordinance to instead allow the city to nearly double the beds at a women's shelter and temporarily repurpose an existing city building into a shelter. Counselors will also vote to allow car camping in Salem. Churches, commercial property with conditions, uh, not in a residential area. The site would have to have access to uh, restrooms, Right. garbage, there would be noise limitations, some cap on the number of vehicles. Meanwhile, the homeless can still gather on public property, as they did Tuesday night along Liberty Street. The difference now, they just can't pitch tents or store belongings for an extended period of time. It's survival of the fittest out here. Again, City Council is expected to vote on a housing emergency later this month, and that should pave way for more shelter beds to open in the city. Reporting tonight in Salem, Kendra Kent, Fox Silver again.